this video, I will show you how you can create a USB. So you don't need a big USB to do that. You can use, I'm using 16 gig. So this is my ADATA UFT is 16 gig USB. And I'll show you how to make bootable USB to uh, get rid of the password or to reset your password on Windows 10 or 11. So first, this software is called Rufus, R-U-F-U-S. I'll leave the link in the description how you can download this software. And it automatically picked the USB from here, 16 gig. And here you have to select the file, which is also, which is right here. And so you go to desktop and it will show only that related file and you click on open. Once you click on open and then it loads the file as you can see. And you got to make sure it shows the extension .iso. This is the right format of file you need. And once you load the file and after that you can click on start. And it's giving the warning that it will format the USB drive. So we uh, press OK, or click on OK, and then you will see this uh, green bar running. It will take a couple of minutes, you know, depending upon the the system you're using, how fast it is. If it's a slow system, it might take a little longer. If it's a good system, it should not take that long. So the whole idea why we're doing that is just to reset the forgotten password. Now, obviously to make that USB, you will have to use another system. You know, you can use your friend's system or any other PC or laptop you have in the house. You can use that to create the bootable USB drive. And it's pretty simple. And first you have to, of course, open this software, which is called Rufus, R-U-F-U-S. So this is the interface. That's how it looks like the software. So once you open it, simply select the USB. Usually it picks up automatically, but if it's not, you gotta make sure where my cursor is. That's where you pick up the, give the path, like where you wanna pick the bootable USB. And from here where it says select, you have to select the ISO file. And once you click on start, it will start making the USB to reset the password of your Windows 10 or 11. Let's say if you forgot the password. And what to do after that, that I have uh, this explained in my other video. You can watch that video. I'll leave the link in this video as well. Say what to do after that. Now we're just waiting for all the files to be copied onto the USB to make it a bootable USB. Of course, you will not have the access to your PC. The, all you have to do is, once the USB is ready, you just you know plug it in and start your computer, and then you have to go to boot menu. How you go to the boot menu? All it depends that you have to press F12 or F9. You can always Google it and find the key how you can access the boot menu. Uh, I'm using Lenovo ThinkPad, so my computer goes to boot menu with F12. And if you're using HP, usually it's F9. And Dell, I believe, is also F12. And some computers, they go to boot menu with escape key. So now we are going to have to wait until this green bar goes all the way to the end here but it's a very handy software it's a very handy tool for those people who cannot access their pcs or laptops because they forgot the password and that's normal for everybody you know once in a while if you don't use your computer on regular basis and let's say you're trying to get into those files or pictures or any data you have in my documents or anywhere on the hard drive. So this software will help you re to retrieve those that information or pictures or whatever you need from the PC. 
I hope this video will help you to gain the access back to your PC. I've tried myself on different PCs and it it worked like charm, like no issues whatsoever. So now just waiting for the files to load. And it's already been five minutes. But as you can see, uh, it's, a, it's a big file. It's not small file, so that's why it's taking time. And after that, it has to compile all the data, make it bootable USB. So I'll try to fast forward these steps, you know, while it's making the USB. And in the meanwhile, I can show you the website as well, where you can go to, don't try there. Okay, so the software first. I'll show you the website. If you write Rufus Download, it will take you right there. So it says create bootable USB drives the easy way. So you can click onto that link, download it. I think it's cutting out a little bit. Let's go to here. So the first link you can click on it and then you can download from there and as i said i will also leave the link in the description so you don't need to look for those files now the other one is hiram's boot cd download that one is also the very first link and if you click on download and then you can from there you can navigate to the option where the file is when you scroll down it's all the way at the bottom so it's easy to find not that hard let me show you again i don't go download and if you click on that link right here and you scroll down down all the way down so this is the file where my cursor is you gotta make sure this says ISO and you can even see the website address hirens boot cd.org slash download so this is this is the actual file that you need to download in order to make the bootable USB as you can see now it's 91% done actually 92% so the good thing is it does not give any error and usually it does not if you choose the correct file it, does, it will not give you any error so once it's 100 percent done and that means you have a bootable usb to get rid of the forgotten password on your laptop or computer so there you go 99 percent and three two one done once it says ready, and then you can click on close. So you can close this uh, software. And I highly recommend that once you, before you pull out the USB, you always make sure eject, you know, you click here, eject the USB flash drive. And that way, that way it's safe to remove the USB drive and you won't lose any data.